Hello students, good morning. One more topic from sex determination. The topic is sex determination in humans. So earlier we discussed different types of sex determination patterns in the organisms. So humans, what type of sex determination? Male heterogamity or female heterogamity? Humans are exhibits. Male heterogamity, XX, XY type of uh, sex determination pattern. So how the sex determination is takes place in humans, right? It has already been mentioned that the sex determining mechanism in case of humans is XY type. So earlier we discussed that the human sex determination mechanism is XX and XY type of sex determination. So XY is whom? Male is XY and female is XX chromosomes, right? So male heterogamity. So how many pairs of chromosomes are presented in human? 23 pairs of chromosomes are presented in humans. So total number of chromosomes, 23 pairs or 46 chromosomes. In that, how many autosomes and how many allosomes? In that, 23. Two pairs are autosomes and one pair are allosome. One pair is allosome. Right? So, allosomes means sex chromosomes. Already we discussed earlier. Next point. Out of 23 pairs of chromosomes present, 22 pairs are exactly same in both males and females. These are autosomes. So, out of 23 pairs of chromosome present, 22 pairs are exactly same in both males and females. Whatever the 22 pairs of chromosomes are presented, so those 22 pairs of chromosomes in both males and females, both also same only. So, means autosomes are same only. And these are the autosomes. A pair of X chromosome are present in the females, whereas the presence of an X and Y chromosome are determined of the male characteristic, right? So, where is the difference between male and female? There is 22 pairs of autosomes are same and one pair of sex chromosomes are different. A pair of X chromosomes are presented in female. In females consist with X and X, whereas the presence of an X and Y chromosome are determinant of the male characteristic okay so in the males x also presented y also presented okay right during spermatogenesis among males the two types of gametes are produced so earlier we discussed during spermatogenesis among males there is two types of gametes are produces 50 percent of the gametes consist with the x chromosome 50% of gametes consist with the Y chromosome, right? That only given here, 50% of total sperm produced carries the X chromosome and the rest of the 50% has Y chromosome besides the autosomes, right? So, at the time of spermatogenesis in the males, there is two types of the gametes are produced. 50% of the sperms carries X and 50% of uh, uh, sperms carries Y chromosome, right? Okay, uh, females, however, produces only one type of ova with an X chromosome. So, whatever the female produces ova, those females, those ovas are consist with only one type. That is, all ovas which is produced by females consist with X chromosome only. Okay, right. Next point. There is an equal probability of fertilization of the ovum with the sperm carrying either X or Y chromosome. There is an equal probability of fertilization of the ovum with the uh, sperm carrying either X or Y chromosome. Why equal probability is there here? Because 50% of uh, gametes consist with Y, 50% of gametes consist with uh, X, 50% of the sperms consist with X, 50% of sperms consist with Y. So, equal probability, alright? Okay, 
in case the ovum fertilizes with a sperm carrying X chromosome, the zygote develops into female XX and the fertilization of ovum with Y chromosome carrying sperm result into male offspring. Right. What type of the offspring is determined by what? What type of the sperm is fertile with the ova? So it is determined by the sperm. So what given here? In case the ovum ovum fertilizes with a sperm carrying X chromosome, the zygote develops into female. Ova X, sperm also X, X and X. What formed? XX, female offspring formed. And the fertilization of ovum with Y chromosome. So, uh, the, the fertilization of ovum with Y chromosome sperm, carry, Y chromosome carrying sperm result into male offspring. That is XY. You got it or not? Right. Next point. Thus, it is evident that is the genetic makeup of the sperm that determines uh, the sex of the child. So, who is determines the sex of the child here? Sperm or vova? Sperms only because two types of the sperms are religious. Half of the sperms are 50% of the sperms are consist with X. 50% of sperms are consist with Y chromosome. Okay? Right. It is also evident that in each pregnancy, there is always 50% probability of either a male or female child. Whenever uh, after pregnancy, the couples or uh, the couples will discuss uh, what boy or girl. How much probability chance is there? Fifty percent boy, fifty percent chance for girl. Okay, you understood that, right? So no need to quarrel between both couples because chances are fifty fifty. So probability calculation, you know that uh, you know maths very well, right? Okay, right. Next, it is unfortunate that in our society, women are blamed for giving birth to female children and have been ostracized and illiterated because of the false notion. What happened here? Whenever female give birth to the uh, whenever mother give birth to the female child. That time what happens? Unfortunately, uh, the mother is blamed why given a female child, right? What male child is the special? No. Where we came from? We came from a free uh, mother's womb only, right? So, but uh, unfortunately in our society, the females are blaming. But actual reason is what? Actual uh, responsible for progeny is whom uh, females or males? Males only because males produces two types of the sperms. There is half of the sperms consist with X, half of the sperms consist with Y. So determining factor is male, not female. Right? Okay. Next one. After this clear. All right. Once again, I am revising here. Uh, the sex determination in humans. The sex determination in humans. What is the pattern? XX and XY type of sex determination male heterogamity so just after um, after the after this video class uh, just you write write down in your notes so parents xx and xy xy xx is the female xy is the male right the next one gametes so what are gametes from the females x and x from the males what are gametes x and y okay right and progenies xx and xy and give the symbols also female and male symbols right so how much chromosomes there is how many chromosomes 23 pairs of chromosomes it has already been mentioned that the sex determining determining mechanism in case of humans it is x y type x y type x x and x y type means male heterogamity out of 23 pairs of chromosome present, 22 pairs are exactly same in both males and females. You should remember 23 pairs of chromosomes, 46 chromosomes means in that 22 pairs of chromosomes in both are same. In whom? In males and females, both are same. Only one pair of uh, allosomes, sex chromosomes only different. So, uh, a pair of X chromosome are present in the females, whereas the presence of an X and Y chromosome are determined. Determinant of the male characteristic. Okay, right. So, female XX and male XY. 
during spermatogenesis among males uh, two types of gametes are produced so whenever during spermatogenesis uh, uh, males produces there is two types of the gametes uh, so 50 percent of the gametes consist with x chromosome and 50 percent of the gametes consist with the y chromosome right 50 percent uh, uh, of the total sperm produced uh, carry uh, the x chromosome and the rest of the 50 percent has uh, y chromosome besides the autosome along with the autosomes right so here how much probability is there for males and female half springs 50 percent half of uh, probability is there females however produced only one type of ovum with an x chromosome females produces only one type of ova x chromosome there is an equal probability of fertilization of the ovum with the sperm carrying either x or y chromosome so equal probability because 50 and 50 so half of the chances is there in case the ovum fertilizes uh, with a sperm carrying x chromosome uh, the uh, zygote develops into female and the fertilization of ovum with y chromosome carrying sperm results into the male half spring so determined factor is male so vova fertilized with x chromosome then xx female formed female half spring formed vova fertilized with y chromosome then xy male half spring is formed right okay thus it is evident that is the genetic uh, makeup of a uh, makeup of the sperm that determines the sex of the child okay it is also evident that e, uh, that in each pregnancy there is always a 50 percent probability of uh, either a male or female child 50 50 probability is there and next one it is unfortunate uh, that in our society women are blamed for giving birth to female children giving birth to the uh, female children and have been ostracized and uh, ill-treated because of this false notion. Females are not responsible for uh, the sex of the offspring. So males only completely responsible because males produces there is two types of the gametes X and Y. Okay, right. Hope you all of you understood uh, the sex determination pattern in humans. Okay. So today's uh, I done the class uh, um, from NCRT points only. So copy all the points uh, from NCRT uh, test book. Okay. So complete point wise, complete whatever the uh, topic related to the sex determination in humans. So complete points uh, uh, should copy from NCRT test book. Okay. So all the points are most important. And uh, as a uh, study class we discussed based on um, sex determination in honeybee uh, that is parthenogenesis haplodiploid sex determination in that we discussed uh, females are uh, diploid and males are haploid so chromosome number mentioned in NCRT so uh, in NCRT go through the NCRT lines so female diploid 32 2 n stays and male how much uh, 16 n stays n condition okay so females consist with uh, 32 chromosomes uh, that is a uh, 2n diploid and males are uh, 16 chromosomes uh, that is n stays right okay so hope all of you understood uh, this sex determination concept in humans and uh, honeybee okay in next class we will discuss regarding about uh, uh, there is mcqs based on sex determination okay thank you very much bye bye